right. First topic today, okay, is going to be the sales process and mastering teaching sales. So the first component that you got to master when it comes to sales is your attitude, first and foremost. You got to have it down yourself so that it trickles down to the people that you're leading. That's why, first and foremost, your attitude is everything. <clears throat> when it comes to dealing with people. If you change your views and you change your perspective, you'll change your results. That's where this deal occurs, is with your attitude and how you look at things, how you respond to things. You gotta be able to prepare people ahead of time for understanding about attitude and how big of a role it plays in their career at American Income. How big attitude plays a role in their role in life. And that it's a choice, it's a decision they make. It's something they can improve upon, but it's something they gotta do every single day. Like, if I took a shower this morning, that don't mean like I'm gonna smell good tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like I gotta take another shower tomorrow. You know what I mean? It's the same thing with your attitude. Like you gotta wash it and, and clean it and make it smell good each day. You gotta do something for it. So the front line is the first interview. So the first thing I would do, greatness takes time. I think people rush greatness when it won't take you that long if you said, okay, if I don't do nothing else this week, I'm gonna make sure all my managers can properly do a first interview. One week. We're gonna role play this shit. We're gonna go over and over and over and over and over and over again till I make sure I got the right line and they know exactly what the blocking scheme is. Everybody, it might take me all week long, but I'm gonna get these managers all on the same page or we're gonna be sitting here 90 days from today still with the same week shit. If you just focus on it for a week, it's done. Move on to step two, move on to something else because you know that they're done properly. And doing that is the demonstrate, observe, critique. You know, demonstrate what you want, show them, Observe them doing it, critique them until they're, they're, they're good to do it on their own. I'm already preaching to the choir in many cases as you guys are here because you want to pour into yourself. You're here because you want to be better in the business. You're here because you want to serve your people better. You're here because you don't want to make mistakes and experiment with your own time when you can learn from the lessons of the time that has been spent by those that have been through it and achieved success. And so, you know, it's easy. this is easy. You know, the real question is, how do we get other people to be the same way? And, you know, the reality is that when we talk about being coachable and executing, uh, you know, the funny thing about it is that there's nothing that will relieve more stress for you uh, as a player. And I was taught years ago that there are times when you're a player and there are times when you're a coach. And you've got to know when you're a player and when you're a coach. Ray Dalio in his book, Principles, says that when you're having a conversation with somebody, the person that is more the authority in that particular realm that you're having a conversation about should be viewed that way in terms of that conversation. They should be respected that way in every conversation that you have. So knowing when to be a player, knowing when to be a coach. And so when, you, uh, you know, when you're at Saray Smith and you're playing for Marcus, uh, you know, a lot of you that have had the opportunity to work with Marcus on a daily basis, you know that it's no walk in the park every single day with Marcus. But what is undeniable is that uh, you win a lot. You will learn to love, you will learn to hate losing if you don't. And when you go out on your own, you're going to come to the realization of all of the lessons that have been passed on to you, even when you were trying to reject them or you weren't trying to hear it. So um, you, you got to look at where you're at and you got to look at uh, what's ahead of you. And you got to look at some of us that have been here a long time and made millions of dollars. It's not because we were great when we first started, but, uh, but uh, like for me, I work my butt off to learn the system. I work my butt off to learn a system because I'm like, once I learn a system, I can teach the system. See, if I don't know the system, I can't teach the system. But once I can teach the system, how many people can, can, can I teach it to? But let me tell you the other thing, guys, of why I got into uh, uh, competition leadership and how I look at competition. So I, I, I was never a top producer, right? So for me, um, I could never compete with, with people like Josh Deshaun. 
because like I was already working seven days a week. I mean, like I was already doing, I, I was running 24 presentations week in, week out, uh, every week for three and a half years until I got out of the field, you know, as a top MJ in the company, you know? So at that point I got out of the field, right? But, but uh, so I did that, but I, I, I had no way, of, no chance of competing against a guy like Josh Deshaun or, or, or a guy like Zach Hart because talent, you know, still matters, right? Uh, but, but what I figured was like when I was a kid, and we had like neighborhoods, right? And it was like almost like a hood. Each, each neighborhood was their own hood, like I grew up in the city. And so you, you end up in the wrong neighborhood, you walk in, and there's three or four guys meeting you. And they're like, hey, give me your shoes, man. And you're like, you get beat up and get your shoes taken, right? So the next day, you show up with four or five guys, right? And the next day, and whoever has the biggest screw wins, right? And so ultimately whoever has the biggest screw so wins. So, so what I looked at is, I only have 24 hours in a day, right? So I can only make an impact 24 hours in a day. And if I'm really, really good at this, I'm going to make three cells, four cells a day, seven days a week. I mean, I'm doing okay. Or I can have 50 guys that make 10 enrollments a week, which is 500 enrollments. I'm making way bigger impact. I'm making impact with the families we're enrolling because I'm enrolling more people. I'm making way better impact with the people that are doing that. Uh, why? Because I'm changing their lives because this company will truly change your life. It will take a kid, Russian kid, barely speaks English, and from a dishwasher into a multi-millionaire running its own business. And it's nothing I did special. American Income and the leadership team are special, right? And, um, and, and, and that, that, you know, and once you, and, and they'll take, and, I, and then those guys, you know, have to be led, and so they're climbing up the ladder. So this is how we make a difference in the world, so. This is uh, Phil Taylor with the James Cunningham Agency out in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, today, I just got up from uh, LDS, Leadership Academy, then coming here for the Cash Money Consultant Boot Camp. It's definitely been a blessing with uh, the, what Simon and Marcus are explaining, man. It's basically clarification of what I got to implement when I go back to the agency. I'm basically going to bring fire to our, our agents and to our upper line as well and basically figure out what we need to do and just clean it up and continue to motivate others and get people into business. So it's definitely, like I said, it's definitely been a blessing. Like this has definitely been a beneficial part of my life. It's been a blessing. So I'm going to hand it over to Kimberly. She's going to finish it off for us. <laughs> Kimberly John Cunningham Agency. Uh, yes, it's definitely been an awesome experience so far and it's just starting. So I'm super excited about it. Marcus and Simon obviously are awesome and not only them we got to meet a lot of top dogs in the company that you constantly hear about on agency meetings or just see them in Spotlight Magazine and see them in person and see how humble they are is awesome uh, awesome humbling experience and just motivates you to just keep going and mind body and spirit ready to activate it also help other people and knowing that it's not about like Phil always saying like the upline always says it's not about how many millions you make but how many millionaires you make so it's starting with yourself so it's definitely been an awesome opportunity definitely a blessing to meet so many people and be surrounded by so. Paul Street MGA, Johnson Nelson Agency of Columbia, South Carolina. A lot of, lot of good information today, a lot of fire. Ready to go. How you doing? My name is Francisco Perez with the Perez Agencies of American Income Life. And you know, I've been with the company for 20 years now. And recently I partnered up with Marcus and Simon that are part of Cash Money Consulting Family, and which was the best decision I made in my life. Ever since I've joined them, they were able to guide me and mentor me to make the right decisions that I needed to make. Not always what I wanted to do, but the areas that made me get uncomfortable so I can have comfort down the line. 